Hi, it's Joy in the Dame Round here watching Lucifer season 5 episode 11, Arresting Devil Face. I'm excited. The ending of the last episode left me very intrigued. I wish we could get a few more songs of the concerts. There'll be everyone consenting to them, obviously. <laughs> oh, let's go. Reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction and all my reactions on my Patreon. You get the unedited version two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance. And let's go. Me too, God. Are you positive you're ready? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> yes, brothers. You mean the plumber? Excuse me. Dad, <laughs> what are you doing? Just make the Give that time you massacred a planet because he didn't do what you wanted. Since Amenadiel has proven himself once again to be completely <laughs> You and I will have to discuss this later. I look okay. forward to it, son. Police equipment to lock a defenseless child to a lunch table? Trixie. Into a trash can. I was just doing what you do. Oh, okay. Trixie. Trixie. I am never going to let you get stuck with me all day. No, Moses wouldn't want this much space time. Uh, sorry, detective, I need to extinguish a burning bush. He either needs to be open and honest or fuck off. I didn't know she was married at the time, I swear to you. They weren't. You. Everything is as it should be. God, he's a dick. You're hurting me. Is he not controlling this? Let go. Did he make him see that? My God, he's an abusive bastard. You mean to do that? Of course, I meant to put him back together. <laughs> Lucifer yeah, protecting Dan. Yep. Staying here on Earth is endangering the people I care about. And <laughs> no, Dan, you care about Dan. Don't lie. Just got rid of him, thank you. Of course. That's my son. Of course, you're still here, selfishly putting all of human nature. Well, that's where I made myself human. <laughs> okay, great. Just go, go now. Or if he's human, we can put him in a people's life. Well, we can't just leave him here. We can. Fine, you kids normally do, but together with me. Oh god. Oh, he's so overbearing. You haven't met. Uh, Miss Lopez, hmm. this is my father. Dad, Miss Lopez. Hmm. Dad? Hmm. No, he doesn't deserve you. Oh, you too. <laughs> oh, Ella got to hug God. Drinking it so fast. It's not that. I think I need to. <laughs> oh. uh, you're still in one piece. Dan. God is not gonna. Dan. God is a bastardly, petty little man. You're a demon. Yeah. What's hell like? What's hell like? Yep. Yeah. She did it. She's been in too many shows. Uh, Lucifer! Pink. Right, uh, what shade? I always thought this pip pip curio accent that you chose was a little over the top, but maybe uh, I'm gonna try. You won't be God is even obnoxious about English accents. No, you're a charming associate. God. Dead? Oh, this man's hubris, even though he's a god himself, he's gonna get himself killed. Oh. Dan, you think our eleven-year-old daughter is going to hell? I don't know. He's worried. Maybe. You to feel that you needed to lock him up. <laughs> That's what you're going with. No wonder Lucifer stole therapy. <laughs> Trixie. You can't trick me into talking about my feelings. And then I tell that person how I was feeling. Even if it might hurt them. Even if it might hurt them. Sweet child. Father is about as supportive as a piece of wet cardboard. <laughs> I never had to support you, son. You know. He Doesn't matter. All by himself. Established a thriving nightclub. And now he's a consultant. Oh my 
god. Unfortunately, I don't have my powers with me right now. But I'm sure everything Where did you leave them? That's what you said about the bloody dinosaurs. Take that tone with me. Oh. And I'm not afraid to take it away. Oh. God, he's obnoxious. Lucifer, is the floor starting to spin for you? I said shut up. He's scared. Oh. Pain, first time he's ever experienced it. Um, the Venom consultant growled a lot. Um, There's no need for violence. Lucifer. He loves his dad far too much for what his dad is, and he's taught him no healthy coping mechanisms. Getting your powers back right now. Where are they? Mm hmm. Oh God! Can someone else get them? Is Trixie mad at Lucifer for making Chloe sad, or at Lucifer, or Chloe or Dan, or? Because you made him feel like that's all he was. Because of you. She's on her way to tell you that you've. No kicking. <laughs> is majestic and you know it. Grown ups are supposed to be responsible. Oh, are they? Well, I'll show Trixie, tell him why you're upset. None of those reasons for why you were upset. Did you display anger issues as a child? <laughs> uh, vigilante behavior, locking anyone to a lunch table. Hang up the phone. I She is using the case for her own issues. I think I Perfect just the way you are, God says. Oh, Maze. Decide to make himself human? So I gotta go. Well, maybe I could... Maze. Is she gonna get God's powers? Any idea where he may have gone? Talk to people, Maze. Had a lot of fights in her, just like her mother. Not to mention a decent chance in a football career. <laughs> And I like that he said football, not soccer. Anyone who says otherwise is a liar. Where he got caught breaking in. So the one on the left is the pharmacy. The one at the end of the hall is records room. Yes. Did it did she muck up his surgery which ruined his career? Maybe he Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. I wasn't thinking. I, I... They love each other so much. No, no, oh my God, no. I... Mm. Oh. Sorry. Oh, I love them. These idiots. They love each other so much. Maze, talk to the crazy old man. He's a bastard, and he should have been more understanding with what he said to you. But actually, what he said to you was probably the least of the bad things he's done recently. Surprise. Are you running away too? Trixie! <laughs> At least that stopped Mace. Gosh, Trixie is having a troublesome phase. Did she muck up the surgery or do an unnecessary surgery or something? Oh, she got bad shaky hands. Mm -hmm. I knew it would be her because... She's mad. She's my drone. Many other things. Yeah. Trixie knows Lucifer made mommy sad. Just put down oh, Trixie. I'm mad at Lucifer. Yeah. I've actually been mad at him for a while, but I had denial. Sweetheart. Tell him why. Why are you mad at him? Oh, uh, I thought we were friends. But then he just ran up to Florida for months and he didn't even say goodbye. He always just does whatever oh. he wants. I don't know what he's doing now. But I know it's making my mom really sad. Baby. I think they may be my fault. Uh, yes. As a father. 
Looking back at how I raised Lucifer. Maybe tell this to Lucifer. Did any of that get through to her a little bit? Or just get maids? You were better than this. Just forced Dad to confront his issues. I'm not forcing Dad to do anything, Lucy. He's our father, all right? God Almighty. Doesn't deserve respect with how he's treated you. Start showing him a little bit more respect. He has been. Old man, who was keeping holding on to this for me, Charlie? Oh my goodness. You gave the powers to a baby? Fine. You created me to be a killer and I can't even do that right. Sweet hole. We can all grow. You are a miracle. You can't grow a soul. Can't she? See, seriously saying she's already got one because she loves people, she has connections. Wasn't the best husband, and I'm grateful she found someone to give her the love she deserved. Thank you. Where was this last night, yesterday, the weeks before, when you exploded him? Don't say that girls make mistakes too. <laughs> and you're beautiful, smart. I can tell you're sad, mom. Yeah. I know you can. She sang you a beautiful song. Even uh, if he and I are gonna try and figure this out, I have to tell him my real feelings. You do. No matter what, you've got each other. That's a little scary. Oh. I'm sure it's scary for you too, right? No matter if you're 11 or 111, if the earth gets hit by comets. Mm -hmm. Teaching children to be open about their emotions is really important. We need to talk. Okay, I'm here for this potentially. Lucifer was right. Twice in one millennium, <laughs> wonders never cease. The truth is, I've been slipping for quite a while. And that's the only reason you've got back in touch with them. For longer than I'd like to admit. Time for me to retire. Dad. The only reason he's come back into their lives is because he needed them. He doesn't care about them. He's a narcissist. I maintain this. He didn't reach out when he was in the full flush of his powers, did he? Okay, so my opinion on God has not changed in the slightest. <laughs> still hate man. Um, I still think he's a terrible parent. Um, the fact that he was being really obnoxious with Dan and then he exploded him, even if that was his powers going out of control, he clearly wasn't. And then he was like, oh no, I'm totally cool with it, I don't mind at all. When he knew that he'd made Dan spiral thinking he was going to hell, even that on its own, isolated, shows you that he's not a nice man. Then if you look at how he treated his sons, not a nice man. He's only reaching out to them now because he needs something from them, because he's worried or he needs their help. He's not doing it because he just wants to get the relationship back. <sighs> I'm tired of him. I need him to be open and vulnerable with them about his feelings, about how he thinks he's failed them. He's been more honest with other people about it than he has with them. But for Lucifer's sake, I am glad that he's able to kind of have him around, have a vaguely civil conversation with him, because for his own mental well-being that is necessary. I think this episode did a really good job of dealing with emotions and how we repress them and how that can hurt the people around us and ourselves. Lucifer right now is struggling with everything with his dad, he's decided he can't love even though he can, even though he does love Chloe and he has loved her for a very long time now. He needs to tell her and I'm praying that's going to happen at least in the finale if not before. For Trixie to realise that she's mad at Lucifer because he just left her and he's mad at Lu she's mad at Lucifer because he's making her mom sad right now is that's a lot of very grown up emotion to deal with and Trixie is at that age where she's very much the little kid but she's almost becoming a teenager she's almost becoming a little adult like she's nowhere near there yet but we will blink I mean okay the show only got one more season but hypothetically we would blink and she would be 50 um so there's a lot for her to deal with and a lot going on and the older you get the more aware you get of the emotions going on around you um so I really enjoyed her talk with Linda I think Linda is a wonderful, she's going to be wonderful, continue to be a wonderful parent to Charlie, but she's very insightful and I really enjoyed kind of the way she treated Trixie, you know, okay I respect you, you're not a little kid, but 
this is what you're dealing with. And that I like that she told Trixie to tell them what she was feeling, so she just said, I hate your hair. <laughs> oh, Trixie. Um, but I love the conversation Chloe had with her when she realised that she needed to tell Trixie the truth. Trixie wasn't a tiny child. We saw that in the previous episode when Trixie opened the door, sang to her mum about staying strong and being happy and smiling, and then closed the door. So she didn't go over to Chloe and give her a hug or anything. We just know that Trixie, for all that she just said goodnight and smiled and waved or whatever, that she knew her mum was hurting. And I really like that they had that conversation because it's important to teach kids to not keep their feelings in. It's important to teach kids that their feelings are valid and they matter and you need to express them. That no one is strong all the time. Even the person you think of in your life as the strongest person is going to struggle from time to time. But what makes you strong is that you keep going through it. If someone truly never struggles, then actually that's strong because they've never struggled. So that I really did enjoy. And I think Chloe right now is trying to be there for Lucifer. She's trying to be so supportive, even though her own heart is breaking. Because if Lucifer turns around at the end of all this and says, no, I, I've done my internal thinking, I've done my healing, and I can't love, sorry, this isn't real. That is a future she'd dream for herself. That is a man she loves, gone, lost. Maybe not even the person she ever thought he was. Also, she's watching a man she loves struggle with himself when she can tell so clearly how capable of love he is and yet him doubting it and struggling with everything. It is a lot to deal with, let alone when it's something so personal to her up in the air. Then Dan. Dan is struggling with he might go to hell and with everything else. I did notice that the next episode is called Daniel Espinosa Naked and Afraid or something, so it's going to be about him. Very exciting. Dan has been struggling a lot. Hopefully God kind of being like, yeah, it was my ex-wife, I was a bad husband, is going to help him not be so fearful about hell. But then he was like a dirty cop, like way back when. I don't know. He, I mean, I know he has done a lot of good since, and like as a show we've moved on for that, but he's done a lot of dodgy stuff so he needs to kind of consider maybe maybe he is weighted to hell um we will see if i was him i would try and learn as much as possible about how hell worked because like i know from what we've seen and what lucifer said it, you talk to yourself with your demons down there so if you were to go down to hell and then be like yeah this is hell cool place could you be aware enough to fight it somehow i don't know because you probably don't realize you're in hell like that guy didn't but yeah it, it's um it's a lot for him to have to deal with and then maze I'm very glad she didn't kill God, and I don't think she actually would have done. I think probably if Trixie hadn't been there, she might have eventually like yelled at him or something. I, I don't know that she really would have killed him, because at the end of the day, her not having a soul... I know he created everything, but then also her mother is her mother. Like, I don't quite get it all, but he should have been more understanding to her. Like What he said to her in this episode, he should have said to her in episode one when she asked him about it. It's like he just goes around saying all these wishy-washy things instead of actually being helpful. So he told her she was perfect as she was. She visibly responded to that with, great, I'm just a useless, horrible demon, went off and lived and was miserable. And then now he's like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, there are miracles every day and demons can grow. Can't demons grow a soul? Have you known? Tell her that in the first place. So I like that the implication there is that Mace has already grown a soul, isn't it? Rather than that she will grow one because that is something that is always throwing me as much as he's kind of saying oh i don't have a soul i'm soulless but she has a relationship she has so many friendships she has had loves she will have loves you know she cares so much about people that when she was trying to like tease ella with all the bad boys she was acting differently to normal that for may's to finally admit that maybe there is a soul there maybe there is more to her than just the demon because she's grown and she's changed and she's learned and I love that for her so much. I really hope we're going to get to see her going in a really healthy direction as a character. I want her to properly get back her friendships with all these characters that she has because Maze has been so isolated this season and that reminds me of the season three Maze stuff which I did not love. I uh, just, God is a dick. I just, there are so many ways. Like anytime he does something vaguely good he then does 50 things that I don't like. Um, I think he's acting brilliantly because if God is real, I can definitely see him being a bumbling old man. I do have to say I reckon God is a bumbling old white man just based on the decisions he's made. Um, he doesn't care about anyone but himself. I can totally see that. I think he's acting really well because he's acting so infuriating. Um, but oh, just I really hope God isn't around in season six, let's put it that way. So God wants to retire. Now, does that mean he needs someone to step in and take over? Someone like Michael or Amenadiel or someone? Or if he retires, 
Would there be a balance of power? I don't quite know what the end game is there. Is he going to look for a successor? Would he look for a successor among humans and elevate them somehow? Would it be a successor among the angels? What exactly does that mean? What does God do on a day-to-day -day basis? Because it looks like fuck all. He's all powerful, but he didn't do anything. Um, so I'm intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued. Um, a reminder as always that you can find this reaction unedited, unedited on my Patreon two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance. And thank you so much for watching.